guys, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing a quick setup on my tra Pocket Traveler's Notebook. Alright, so as I've mentioned in the beginning, uh, we are going to be setting up my Traveler's Notebook. Um, this pen is literally just for decoration because I don't like the ballpoint pen that's in here. I mean, I can... I'm sure I can find out like how to get gel pens in there, but or like a different kind of ball pen, but whatever. That's besides the point. I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, so how are we gonna start this? I guess I'll talk about my pocket, my traveler's notebook cover for now, first before we do anything else. So this is my traveler's notebook. Hold on, let's zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so. This is my traveler's notebook that I have, I have, <laughs> I got this from Shopjot, I think that's what her shop's called. I'm gonna write it on the wall, uh, on the screen, um, just so you guys can see it and I'll have it linked down below. So basically I got this um, recently, well it's not that recent, uh, well a couple months ago, from that shop. It was during the Great Canadian Planner sale and this, she was having an amazing sale. I think it was like 20% off and if you live within Canada, shipping was free. It's like score. So I bought this. This was a, I'm going to say misfit, but it's not a misfit. It literally is just a gray um, cover. Uh, it's leather. It's real leather. Um, there is some kind of like scratches on here, but I did buy it knowing that there is going to be a scratch. You see that? It's just, just that. Like personally, it doesn't really bother me because isn't the whole point of having a leather, um, a leather thing is it's so it's kind of looks weathered and lived in, which I really like. I like the gray color. So yeah. Um, prior to this, I was using my, I made one from a black, whatever this is called, black leather that I got from Michaels. Um, that was okay, but it wasn't, I don't know, I just, I just wanted something a lot nicer than what I made. So I purchased, it was, she was having a sale and I purchased it. Um, it literally is just a cover. So this is my current setup that we're gonna change after this. It literally is just a piece of leather with some strings on it um black strings she during the sale she wasn't what's it called she wasn't yeah there you go you can't really see that can you um with just black strings on it during the sale she didn't really want to like you can change the strings but since she was having a sale she's like nah you guys can't change strings like you can purchase extra strings but you can't change it uh yeah and this white string that you see here is not from there. I put that afterwards. This is the only string I have. I don't have a black string. If I did, I would have done a black string. Um, it's just basically holding the, the notebook in place. Now that I'm looking at it, I, I restringed it. I just put it through the spine here. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I got the black. Oopsie, sorry. You guys are moving. <laughs> um, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I got the black Lordstrom, but whatever. It was on sale, and it's just the dot grid. I'm not going to show you. I have written some stuff on there. I'm just not going to show you guys. Um, yeah, it, it's just basically the white string is just to hold this guy in place. Um, right, so I just yeah. grabbed a piece of, it's kind of gross looking cardboard. Um, I use this to, well, actually, that's not too gross. This side's gross. Um, I don't even know what you're showing you that. Anyway, I just use this piece of cardboard to tape stuff together or, like, glue stuff together um, just because I don't want to ruin my work surface. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get rid of everything that's in here for now. Where are you? Just take everything out. And there is going to be some kind of, like, crafting in here. I did start, I have cut everything to size that I want to use, um, just because that's a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier, well yeah, it's a lot easier and it's gonna, it's not gonna take as much time on camera with the cutting. I find cutting 
to be the more tedious part. I'm just going to put this on the side of um, setting up a planner. So the inserts you guys kind of saw in the beginning. Um, I'm going for a purple gold theme kind of geometric looking. So for this first insert, it's actually going to be the last insert that's going to be on my on my traveler's notebook. I have a piece of vellum, this guy, with like a little hearts on it. Um, I got this at a dollar store at, a, at an area where I don't usually go to. So it was kind of, yeah, it was $2, um, which is pretty cool. And then inside, this is gonna be my sticker storage pocket thing. It's none of these are like taped down. But basically I have a, this is a purple, purple one with a black pockets. I will be talking about that in a little bit. Um, this is going to be the first one that you guys are going to see. I'm going to put, I, well, you'll see, well, you'll see, but basically it's a gold floral one. It's gold foiled. You can kind of see my silhouette in there is with the lighting, which I'm so sorry about, but whatever, we can't do much about it. Um, I'm going to, for my weekly inserts, I'm going to have this kind of damask looking floral purple, a dark purple thing for my weekly. I'm going to put a black piece of cardstock and a piece of another, the gold foil paper thingy. And then finally I have this. Uh, this is just going to go over my my Lurkstrom. Actually, now that I'm going to, I'm talking about it, I'm just going to put it in now because why not? Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of like make it kind of cohesive without taping anything to my Lurkstrom. Um, so it's just kind of like to keep, give it a little bit more of an interest, you know what I mean? So, okay. So as I was saying, this gold foil is on the outside and I've had problems with my... Filofax domino patent leather domino thing where this rubbed off onto this uh, pocket. It's not that big of a deal because I could I can't really notice it after I couldn't really notice it after I cleaned off as much as I can. There was still some in, um, imprints on it, and I didn't want that to happen with this. I highly doubt it would because this is a different feeling kind of thing. But I just decided to put it on the outside to kind of make it cohesive and you can s it kind of ties in with the geometric pattern pattern of the other inserts so the first insert i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do okay i'm trying to figure out my life here is how i did this uh yeah i'm just making a makeshift pocket i'm gonna so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tape oh man what am i gonna do Hmm, I didn't think this through properly. So I'm going to tape this, and I'm going to tape like this flappy thing. I can't really explain to you guys how I did this. So basically, the, uh, the only thing I can tell you is that I pretty much measured 5 centimeters from where I wanted this to sit. So it's kind of like in a shape, but I measured 5 centimeters from where I wanted this to sit. From, for the inside and on the sides I measured an inch or two and a half centimeters and five centimeters two inches so that's basically the only thing that I did in there um, yeah so let's I'm gonna tape this and I'm just gonna use a dollar store tape or Dollarama tape glue runner thing yeah so I'm gonna do that here on my little I'm gonna Just so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on. Um, yeah, so I didn't... What are they trying to say? I don't remember what I was trying to say. So I'm going to just do that. Do that. I hope I, I'm doing this right. <laughs> Imagine if I'm not doing this right. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do this right. See? Oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, so I totally oh. jinxed myself by saying like I hope I did this right. So I just put a piece of um, extra paper on there. Um, just to stick it on. I guess it'll just be extra. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen too. Okay. So let's do this properly. <laughs> okay. So let's tape this guy. There you go. It's a little, you can kind of see that on the edge, but I don't particularly care. That's okay. It's good. So that's the first, first one that I'm going to do. There you go. First insert. That was the most complicated one out of all of them. So hopefully the next couple ones, I don't screw up. Okay. So that's the first insert. I'm going to put that in later. Uh, that goes with that guy. So this next insert that we are going to be doing is just literally a cover. Um, let's put that guy over there. Uh, literally is just a cover. So I think I was, my plan was to do this. This is going to be for my weekly inserts thingy that I'm going to put it there. You know what? I'm just going to cut this. Because I see myself ruining, I just see myself doing something stupid with it. I legitimately see myself like doing something so stupid. Okay, let's just put that guy to the side. Are you straight right now? I don't even know. My, the backdrop that I'm filming on is kind of like weird, being weird right now. Okay, so this first one, I wanted to do it, no, this way. Okay, let's tape this, and I'm going to tape this all the way around. So I'm going to cut, so there you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to decide, like, do I want it here in the middle? Let's put it in the middle. We're just going to do that. And I'm just going to cut this after I glue it on. So I'm not very precise with my inserts, obviously, as you can see. It's... It's, it's whatever. I mean, it's just look pretty. Not a whole bunch of, not a whole lot of people are going to see this. So there's no point of me like making it like super duper pretty. Okay. So for this final insert, what I'm going to do, is it this way or was it this way? So I'm going to tape it like that. And I'm going to put one over, I think in all the way to the bottom and one all the way to the top. And then this one is going to be the interesting one because this is the first one I'm going to see. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the other one. I'm just going to tape as much as I want. Okay, so there we go. So that's the front one. And I just remembered, since this was the front one, I wanted to put my name on here. So this is a one of the freebies that Charlotte made for one of the sales she, has, she had recently. Um, and I just used that little, this guy, this little cat one. I do have another one with cables on it. But I, I, I thought this cat or tiger or whatever it's called matched this style a little bit more. And I did write my name on there. It's just, it's just a sticker. Um, 
you guys don't know, I do, I am a PR for Charlotte. Okay, yeah, so I am a PR for Charlotte, and if you guys want to buy anything from her, it is, I have a coupon code or a code on Etsy. She's an Etsy shop. So, yeah. I will have it, I will have it down below, linked, linked down below. I'll have her shop link down below on the info bar, and I will have my coupon code there too. I might, I might throw it on the screen right now. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so these are all my inserts. And I kind of wanted to add something else to this. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape on top and on the bottom. Um, just so I kind of protect the corners. If that's one of those things where it, it kind it not kind of, it bothers me whenever I see it. And I do have this gold washi tape that I did want to use. That I did want to use, but I don't know if I'm going to use it trying to figure it out like that be cute no I'm not gonna do that um, I'm not gonna use it on this one either but I will just put a piece of like transparent tape on the top and the bottom um, again as I mentioned to protect the corners but this one I think I do want to put this one here kind of as a decoration so there is a piece of washi tape stuck on this because this is the one with the paper backing. Ooh, that's so cute. I didn't put that down properly, but whatever. Okay, so since this is just the inside, no one's going to really see it. But me, I'm just going to tape it in. Oh, that's so cute. That's so... Like, I almost don't want to... No, I still think that's cute. Okay, let's put this together. Okay, I have set everything up. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the insides. So when I first open this up, the first thing you're going to see is this. So I realized this after when I, after I finished taping it, you can kind of see like the reflection on it. It personally does not bother me because um, the corner scrunching up kind of like that bothers me a little bit more. Can you see that? I don't, I don't even know if you can see that, but like the corner scrunching bothers me a lot more than um, the shininess, like the different textures. That's totally fine. So this is the first page. And then I, the first thing I just have in here is just my monthly, um, my monthly setup. So there's that. Let's put you in the middle so you can see. Um, today is currently... I don't know what day it is today. 18? 18. So yeah, so just the first paper is just set up. Oh, and the paper that I use is just regular copy paper. It's nothing exciting. I'm trying to look for a new one, but I, I don't really want to buy it. <laughs> Struggles. Okay, so this is the second um, sh uh, answer cover. So there's just that. And then the inside is my weekly. I'm just going to show you an empty one. I mean, I guess this is the week I'm in. I don't really use this weekly too often. So, yeah, there's that. And then have my Lurkstrom with its cover. And then finally I have my stickers. Look at that. I mean, this is a pocket I can put stuff in here, but I just decided not to put anything in there for now. I mean, look at that. I have a lot of pockets in here, so there's just that. And then there's, that's it. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I hope I wasn't too rambly, but knowing me, I probably was way too rambly. Um, yeah, anyway, 
um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have videos or pictures of your traveler's notebook, I would love to see how you set up your traveler's notebook. I know everybody is very different in how they set it up. Um, but this is how I like it. I like it to be simple and this kind of just is just perfect for my, my purse. So, yeah. Uh, thank you again for watching. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, that would definitely make my day. That would be awesome if you subscribed. Um, I will have videos probably like over here, two videos. Oh, no, actually probably on this side. I don't know. I'll have videos linked up top here right now um, as well as the subscription button if you want to subscribe. So, now that I've done my spiel, it is definitely a goodbye.